Hello guys and welcome to episode 35 of my Medieval 2 Total War campaign playing as England on very hard difficulty. Today we are starting with the attack on Milan. We have a couple of catapults so we are going to assault this settlement. We do have armoured swordsmen. I don't think they will have anything too crazy good. Like their Italian militia and spear militia are pretty nice. Same with their Genoese crossbows, but for the most part, we're just going to be engaging them in melee. So, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and fight this on the bottom map. Leave your mercy behind, men. We shall utterly crush. So this is our king. This is, I think, one of their family members. Although we did kill their king in the past, so this could be their new king. I should have checked, actually. Oh well. Let's start the deployment. Remember that the goal here is to capture the. Did you look at this? These are very cool-looking walls. Are they upgraded walls. This architecture is awesome. Never seen a settlement like this before. I'm guessing it's just like one of the Italian states. Italian architecture. But yeah, it looks awesome. Where are we going to attack? That is the question. I don't really want to attack into here. If we could attack at a different gate, that would probably be better. Like over here might be a nice idea. Yeah, let's attack from here. Uh, so my guys should be in range. We'll have these guys behind. And with these lot. That is fine. I'm in here. Lovely. That'll do. Start the battle. I'll try and make a hole either side. And we'll speed it up. Then I'll take down the towers. Although saying that, we don't need to take down the walls, do we? We've already got the gates open. My bad. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. We have the spy open the gates. Or is this not that right? No, this isn't that place. No, wrong place. I'm thinking of one of the Imperial settlements. Let's continue to break down these walls. I mean, if they're actually just going to retreat to the center, we may as well only break down one wall. There we go. Job done. We are through the enemy's walls. Into the breach and on to victory. Right, now we can have these guys run forwards. We're going to get all my archers forwards as well. The reason I'm lining them up like this, by the way, guys, is because um, we can fire all the way up the road. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, we're going to have to take out these towers. Those towers sound disgusting. I think they're upgraded towers, which is a problem. The Lord is with oh, well. us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. They're gonna take it out. I'm gonna just focus that one tower since it's the only one that's captured. Our men As for these guys, the I should probably if run. We continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And well. Armoured Swordsman should be able to win quite easily against Spear Militia. In theory.
Oh, wow. Did you see that miss, guys? <laughs> Absolutely decked a bunch of men over here. <laughs> Look at them. Poor chaps. Here comes the archer fire, though. Gonna do a lovely amount of damage. And that tower should soon be dead. Unless we just miss again. Oh, catapults. Don't let me down. How is that not a hit? There we go. Job done. Alright, that's kind of lagged my computer briefly, but now we're good. <laughs> it's funny how a game this old can lag my PC still. But there we go. Um, we are doing very well here. The archers are absolutely annihilating these guys. And we haven't invested, like, a lot of men for this, so that's good. I am going to try and get some dudes inside, though. Yeah, those arrows landing at the back here are... Definitely killing a lot of men. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There's more and more slowly dying here. front. The men are more spread out and fighting on. Only half the enemy force remains. I really love this sort of combat system. Like currently in the like in the Warhammer games, it's like one on one, but you can see there's like three guys here just taking on this one dude. That never happens in re in like current Total War games. I think it's something they should definitely like make happen again. And rather than sort of focusing so much on the animations. Because there, you can see there is like a finisher. But like sometimes they'll just normal swing and the guy dies like that. I love the way there's one guy who's like demonstrating everything I'm, I'm trying to point out. <laughs> We're doing well anyway. Archers oh, should start firing effectively again. They, they've currently stopped because I have men walking in front of them. It's like a much more natural battle line. Just looks so damn cool. I don't even think this game looks that bad. Like it's it's still a very good looking game. Yeah, okay, some of the animations are derpy, but for the most part, I think the way that troops move in this game is just so damn good. Especially cavalry. I love cavalry in this game. If you set them up right, they can do so much work. I'm going to get my mercenary spearmen to go first. 
since we're going to be up against the general bodyguard. And having that bonus versus cavalry will be really useful. The archers have pretty much done the job. Just killing off as many men as they can before they get back to the square. I think it's almost time to get in our catapults even. See if we can do that. I'm going to have these men just charge into the crossbowmen here. I might also bring up some of my archers. Are we catching them? Mm, not quite. All right, we're going to just take it easy. I'm going to wait for my catapults. They are coming. And I will be able to use them at close range, I think. If we get uh, these archers to come forwards and kill off the Genoese crossbow militia, then we should be fine. Okay, they're actually going to charge my mercenary spearmen there. We did brace, though. That's okay. Now you got the archer fire coming in. That's mostly focused on these crossbowmen, but it's going to hit the general bodyguard as well, so that's good. And we nearly have the catapults in position. Try and place them as far to the right as I can. So that I can just fire into this bodyguard here. we will probably do so with like normal rounds. I'm going to move these mercenary spearmen forwards and attack. Well men. That one's going to hit the the building there quite often. <laughs> this is poor building. A great market being damaged. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, that, that hit quite a few of them. That's nice. Oh, and that just smashed right into them. Now the catapult shots are getting real. <laughs> and I think my archers are all in position. More or less. Right, let's have these guys come forwards. Because we are going to need something that can actually push through at the end of the day. Oh, and actually fire that catapult. I don't care about the mercenaries, you can fire anyway. I guess we'll just put flaming shots into the Italian militia then. Since the catapult does not want to fire into their general. And I guess we may as well speed it up. It's gonna be a pretty never ending battle. The enemy king is slain! A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. 
We must well, press our the king advantage. is dead. Huzzah. <laughs> That's good. Time to just crack on here, I think. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yep, that general bodyguard has broken. Good stuff. Now we move these this cap bolt up and just try and kill as many as we can. Go on, how can you miss at that range? We're getting there. Slowly. Alright, spread out. Get as many of these as we can. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let me get my general in here, why not? And we may as well have the rest of the units come on in. Our men are in command of the city. Our men we'll are winning soon. the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Thing is, after we take this settlement, there isn't really going to be much resistance left in Italy. Unless the large imperial army is still there, this in which case we might have a goes to only crazy defense on our hands. But valor. for now, we're all good. That's killed their general. And possibly their heir as well. I mean, it killed, we killed another general, so... That's pretty nice. We're going to exterminate them in Milan. And resistance is futile. And the reason I'm doing that is just to help us out with public order in the long run. Now, our relation with the Pope... is actually pretty good still. Wait, did we not get excommunicated? We must have. Looks like we didn't. Well, that's fine then. Let's just merge the men. And here in Milan, what do they have as a special building? They have a thieves guild. Okay, let's build a spy then. And I will retrain the mercenary crossbowmen. And one of these as well. Okay. Gonna merge all of those. May as well merge My Lord. our militia as well. Retrain all them. And now we've got to find a way to spend 22k. But before we do that, we've got to attack Nuremberg. Yes, and this Moving is the one that the has enemy. the gate open. So I got confused at the start of the last battle because this is the case here at Nuremberg where we have a spy that can open the gates for us. So we're able to attack in the same turn. Uh, let's go ahead and assault it. So Dieter's is going to be trying to defend with the crossbow militia and armoured sergeants. Does have a couple of catapults. Shouldn't be too much for us to deal with though. I can attack them from multiple sides so the catapults should die. I can have like my cavalry come in from like the left and right side of the settlement and then the main force just run through the main gate. I mean honestly what we could do is just have our army split three ways. That might be a better idea. Remember that the goal here is to capture the settlement, not I don't know why that keeps coming up now. <laughs> I don't think I have advice on, so. Very strange. 
So I'm just gonna make a few groups, I think. That's one. We'll do one over here. Although I don't think there's a gate on this side. Oh, there is, okay. Okay, that's group two. And then over on the other side, we can have group three. And the rest can just join group one, I think. So we'll have like a main force in the center at the front. That is fine. All right, start the battle. Our spires opened the gates. Let's be done with this wretched siege. And we will run on in and try and make as much crown as possible. Oh, they actually have some town militia on the wall here. That's pretty disgusting. Why would they do that? That's so annoying. Oh, it's actually shooting us already. Run on in. I'm going to have my cavalry hit the catapult because it has been left behind I haven't left the main gate what I'm going to do is run through here and just attack the armoured sergeant straight up the lord is with us today We've captured the enemy's walls. On this side, I'm just waiting for the town militia to leave the walls. Yeah. Like, capturing the walls on the other side over here was a good idea. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, uh, let's leave these guys out of here. But the rest are going to die. Yeah, they're all dead. That's fine. Uh, we do have some crossbow militia here that we got to deal with. Go and run towards them. Okay. That's good. And we engaged at this gate. We have. And now we can move through from this gate. I don't know where their other counterpoint is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Because they had two, I think, in total. Just turn off skirmish on all of them. And over here, what I'm going to do is just tell my archers to start moving into the settlement of this road. We'll just have the couple units of levy spearmen protect them. We'd also get our general in, I think. Alright, crossbow militia versus dismounted feudal knights. We should be in a pretty good position there. Catapult is actually a problem there. Pretty scary problem. Get these guys onto loose formation. We'll get these guys out of the way. And that way the yeoman archers can maybe shoot the crew to death. How are we doing here? Why does it say that there's a unit? 
It must be the crossbowman that ran away. That's fine. Alright, let's come in over here. Get the longbows in behind. Okay, let's have the spearmen out in front. Beautiful. This is probably one of the most complex sieges, actually, that I've ever done. Catapult's been left on its own. Let's go and take advantage of that. Yeah, normally I just rush down the same road, but this one I think has worked out quite a bit better. Knights inside. I just want these feudal knights to kill the catapult. That's like one of the most important things. That will prevent so many losses if we can kill it. Getting there. Put all their forces like gathering in the mid here. Just got to get to the catapult before they get to the mid, and then we're okay. Oh, well, we kind of made it. I'm just hoping that they don't move any troops from the center right now to attack us. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, so we're going to run the men over here. One of these guys are okay. Will these archers move up. Okay. And we can just shoot into the center, I guess. Catapults are dead. And nothing more to worry about. Get the feudal knights out of the way. And we'll let our units open fire. I'm going to move forwards these guys a bit so they can fire better. Why aren't those guys firing? Dodd. Oh, now they are. And now we watch them fall. You'd think at this point they would surrender, but never mind. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this is. This is going to be one of the cleanest sieges I've ever pulled off. Cleanest assault, I guess it is. By yeah. Saint George, our <laughs> men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. This is just disgusting George, to watch. Our men have taken control of the city. There is a unit over here somewhere. Crossbow militia. All right, I guess we just run into them with our feudal knights. As soon as they rout, we win, I guess. Since the majority of the men in the center will be dead. is very much in our favor. There's like one if guy here. True and oh, he's died. Victory will be ours. Behold, <laughs> all of Christendom. And then the battle there. 
<laughs> that was uh, absolutely insane. Nuremberg was taken without barely any losses. Very Such nice indeed. Go ahead and exterminate the populace Another of Nuremberg. Falls before us. Resistance is futile. And lovely jubbly. Where to, sire? Now our spy can go to Prague. And we shall take that. Hail Hopefully my our king. spy can open the gates at Innsbruck and we can take that. Um, what else? I don't think there is much yes. to do in this turn. Who do you want dead? There are many differences. Our people should We could actually king. give the Pope order, the blood sire. money. That would be quite amusing. How much money do you think I'd need? So it'd be two thousand, four thousand, six thousand, eight thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand we can get it up pretty damn high. That way in the next turn, if he gives us the mission again, it won't excommunicate us. Yes, my lord. I think it's done by, like, each level is 2,000. You, we'll give him 13, just because. Have the blood money. We cannot Goodbye. It has been a pleasure. Okay, that'll do. Now we have very good relations. Uh. <laughs> All that money from sacking these settlements that he is hating me for taking, and I just give it to him, and he loves me. <laughs> money pays for everything. Oh my. Okay. Unfortunately, that has been my time. I am going to have to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll be looking to take Innsbruck and move on to uh, Prague at some point. And yeah. We're in a really, really good position. I'm not even sure how many settlements we have left to take, but victory condition, here we come. That's all for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.